All right, guys. Hello. Today we're gonna be going over how you can create a ping program in VB.net. Uh, now I've actually tried to record this project a few times, and it keeps becoming really long. And I actually need to add some new information that I've learned uh, into this project. So that being said, we're just gonna jump right in and create a project that's called Pings, a Windows form application in VB.net. Hit OK and give it a second to load. Okay. Uh, if I'm going a little bit fast in this video, feel free to pause. Uh, there's no hurt in doing that. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and add a button up here. Uh, let's add a numeric up down box, if I can find it. Okay, and this is going to hold how many pings that we want to send out. We're going to set that right beside the button. Uh, let's add a text box in here, and this is going to be uh, the text box that holds the address that we want to try to ping. Uh, and finally, let's add a list box to show all the results that we get uh, from our ping replies. Okay, so that being said, we have the aesthetics down. Uh, let's go ahead and change our minimum uh, here for our numeric up down box to one. Say they have to send at least one ping. Uh, let's change the button to uh, say ping. Okay, and finally, give the text box the default website www.bing.com. Okay, so that being said, we're all set to go. Let's double click ping and jump on it. So first of all, all I want to do is import a namespace real fast. Uh, System.net.network information. Okay, and this will actually give us inf uh, uh, access to the ping and ping reply uh, that we need later on. So that being said, uh, first thing we want to do here is clear the list box. So list box one dot item side clear whenever they first click the button uh, and then we're actually going to throw in a try statement and inside our try we're going to have our for loop for uh, the amount of pings we need to send out so for i as integer equals zero uh, to numeric up down one dot value minus one uh, we actually need to do our pings now so I'm just going to say dim my ping as uh, new ping here and then dim my reply as ping reply equals my ping that we send to uh, and in parentheses text box one dot text which is the address in our case so uh, that being said if they have a valid address in there we can add it to our list box so list box one dot items dot add and in parentheses we're just going to say my reply dot round trip time round trip time there we go uh, and round trip time is really what we're looking for when we send pings out okay so uh, that in and of itself is going to hold uh, the milliseconds uh, of our ping of each ping uh, that we send out uh, well like I said before if they have an invalid address in text box one it's obviously going to throw an exception uh, hence why I put it in a try statement uh, so in my case I'm just going to message box them saying uh, Please check your address. Oops, sorry if I can type here. <clears throat> and uh, also note that this exception can be thrown if they are not online. So if you want to fix them being online real quick, uh, you could <clears throat> make sure they are, at least in VB, by using a pretty simple little uh, uh, bit here. It's if my dot computer, if my dot computer dot network. Uh, is available equals true then we can do our entire try pinging statement so uh, that being said uh, if they're not connected online though then it won't even try to send out our pings now for the sake of understanding uh, the asynchronous part that I'm going to jump into right away uh, <clears throat> I'm actually going to create a new sub here and I'm going to name it private sub uh, send pings Okay, and inside this, uh, I'm just going to leave that there for now uh, <clears throat> and go back up here. Okay, so whenever we call our pings out, uh, whenever we run this, uh, you'll notice that if you send 100 pings to Bing uh, at the moment, or 100, let's stick with 100, uh, you, while it's filling, you can't move the form. There it goes. Uh, and then uh, if you actually get a drop connection in there also, or timed out connection, uh, then it actually won't, uh, how do I say, it won't uh, be as fast as you'd like it to. And you'll you'll basically just be sitting there waiting for your form to finish. Uh, and that's because it's all going on on the same user interface thread. Well, we can actually fix this by giving an async 
making a sync function to our pings, and then moving our entire try statement uh, down into our async send pings. Okay, so of course we need to call it back uh, so that <coughs> we have uh, that code still inside our button click event. And <coughs> you'll notice that it says uh, the async method lacks an await operator, and that's because we actually aren't awaiting on the ping replies yet. So we type await in here by my ping dot send. Uh, and we get another error, and that's because we actually need to change my ping dot send to my ping dot. You'll see send a sync, send a sync cancel, or send a sync, or send ping a sync. Sorry. Uh, in our case, we want to do send ping a sync. If you select it and look at the tooltip, it says awaitable, uh, and in fact, we are using await, so we need to select that. <coughs> so after you double click that, you'll notice that all the uh, errors, squiggly lines go away, and you're good to go. Now. Uh, in terms of a timeout value, uh, since we need to fix that glitch, you know, waiting, uh, we don't want to wait on that. I'm going to go ahead and set my timeout to 250 milliseconds. Now, uh, if you are further away from a website or something, uh, or further away from a server or a bad internet service provider, then you might want a larger uh, timeout value than that. Uh, but 250 seconds, a quarter of a second, that's actually a pretty long time in terms of uh, pinging on most websites. And that being said, if I do have a timeout value, I do not want to add it to the list box uh, because when I do my average here in a second, uh, I do not want zeros to be averaged in because that will mess up uh, what I'm actually getting as results. So that being said, I'm going to say if uh, my, let's say if my reply uh, round trip time is greater than zero, then I will add it to our list box here. Okay, so that being said, uh, pretty straightforward, uh, not much going on there. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to average them out real fast so you can see what's going on here. Uh, just add a label over on the side, uh, change it to an empty label. Uh, just bear in mind what the name was. In my case, it was label one. Uh, and we actually need to pop up against, uh, pop up above the try statement, and we're going to dim uh, total as integer. Uh, and we don't need to initialize it right now. So that being said, uh, every time we get a reply that's greater than zero, I want to add it to total. So total uh, plus e plus sorry plus equals my reply uh, round trip time. Man, I cannot type today. Okay, uh, and then after our loop has finished, I want to take that entire total. And, and divide it by how many uh, responses we got and have basically average amount. Uh, so basically all I'm going to do is do label1.text equals, and in parentheses I'm just going to say total divided by, uh, what is it, listbox1, sorry, listbox1.items.count, yes, dot .count, okay. Uh, and that being said, I'm pretty picky, so uh, since I am using uh, .text, I like to put .toString there uh, because I'm not picky. I'm pretty picky about numbers and uh, my strings and whatnot. So that being said, uh, <clears throat> once you have that, if you go ahead and run it, uh, you'll actually notice that if you ping uh, Bing a hundred times now, uh, the list fills up. You can move your form around all you want while that's being executed when it's finished. Uh, you'll have 32.096 uh, whatever. Uh, if you actually don't like that kind of average, if you want it averaged out to the nearest millisecond, uh, then obviously uh, we need to stop it from being a long value. And the reason it's long is because my uh, round round trip time, uh, as you can see here, is a long variable type. Okay, so that being said, we can actually convert this entire thing to integer and that's pretty easy so convert dot to int 32 and there you go that should do it so let's go ahead and try it one last time 100 pings to bean.com and while the list is forming you can move your move your form around uh, and when it's done you have your average uh, as a whole number as a whole integer okay so my average is 32 milliseconds uh, which is pretty, you know, decent. So that being said, I hope you learned a little bit. Uh, if you're fascinated about this a sync uh, operator or a sync keyword in here, uh, by all means, please go check out MSDN's website uh, over a synchronous task and a synchronous functions. Uh, they're actually really cool, 
and, and they're really helpful later on in bigger projects. And uh, you'll also learn about ca cancellation tokens and whatnot, and how you can cancel asynchronous tasks uh, so that you can actually move on to something else, uh, or along, just, or just for whatever case you may want to uh, stop whatever is going on in the background. So that being said, I hope you learned a little bit. Uh, I want to thank you for watching the video, and uh, if you liked it, please hit the like button. Uh, <clears throat> besides that, I wish you the best of luck in all your programming adventures, and like always, have fun.